You have the floor, Mrs. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, yes, this is a secret. It's a secret uh, only Ozzy and I know. Um, my children I have never told. And it's really, I've never discussed it out of embarrassment of how stupid I was at the time to have done such a thing to myself. And I, I want to share this with everyone because it's a lesson learned. I learned a great lesson from this. And it's um, something that was done when I was 27. I was just going out with Ozzy at the time. We were working together and dating at the same time. And he was married, had two children. I was free and single and wild. And we, when we first got together, we would drink a lot together. You know, that's what we did. And um, we had a session of, you know, romance, drinking, partying. It's about four in the morning and he says to me, how much do you really love me? I don't know if this relationship is going to last. And I'm saying to him, I'd do anything for you, anything. I absolutely adore you. How much do you love me? I'd give my life for you. Okay. Prove it. It wasn't him. It was me, me, me. And I'm very dramatic, as you all know. <laughs> <laughs> and if I say something, I like to follow it through. So I'm like, I'll show you how much I love you. I'd die for you. So I went to a, a room service table that was still in the room, covered in old fries and burgers and steaks. And there was a steak knife. So I get the knife and I go, I love you so much. <laughs> slash, slash, slash oh on my gosh. wrist. And unfortunately for me, I kind of went too deep. <laughs> and um, it wouldn't stop bleeding. But we got to so, turn you to the camera. So I'm yeah. saying, uh, dear, I think we'd better call an ambulance. <laughs> 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 this thing's not stopping now. And I got very sober very wow. quickly. <laughs> so the ambulance came and I'm like, just put tape on it. No, this is attempted suicide. I'm like, no, actually, no, I'm drunk. I didn't know we're taking you away. They took me to the hospital. I'm in somewhere like Indianapolis at the time on tour. No, I'm like, no, gosh. I promise you. It was not attempted suicide, I promise you. So then they put me on lockdown, called the psych ward, called in all the psych doctors, the police are coming. Cut two. I permanently scarred my wrist. I was on lockdown for being over dramatic and drunk at the time. Oh. And there was nothing anybody could do. Ozzy and I weren't married, so he had no right. Oh, I didn't have yes. so anybody, it was up to oh. it was up to doctors to decide whether I was of yes. sound mind. Sound mind. To come out. Wow. And that's very How'd hard for out? me to prove. <laughs> 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 How did they ever let you? So I'm like, <laughs> and it's 72 me. hours. The tour bus is going. I've got another town to go to. I want to come out. No. So if anybody out there who likes to cut or harm themselves or try and prove to someone, firstly, let me tell you, these scars are a big embarrassment. I tell everyone I was attacked by a dog, which I was. I was attacked by a Doberman, but it was the other arm. <laughs> and they're bite marks. But this, I've had to explain to doctors along the way, and people look at me and I'm like, oh, dog. <laughs> no, steak knife, dirty steak knife, oh. drunk, trying to be dramatic, oh. and In you love, know what? Too. The scars yeah. don't go away. And it that's stays passion. with you. That was yeah. your love yeah. for Ozzy, yeah. too. Yeah, and it's like, grow up. Just grow up. Look at this. It's sad, pathetic on a 61-year-old, and it's like, please let it go away already. It hasn't. It's a reminder. reminder. It's a reminder, it's a reminder to reminder. us all. Yeah. <laughs>